So what we get out of instant WordPress and similar things is a website that's not on the internet that we can work with at our own pace. Now when we're here in the dashboard, if I want to see what it looks like for regular people, you can uh, hover over the top left and then click visit site. So that's something you should, uh, that you should know to be able to switch back and forth between editing the site and viewing the site. So there I am viewing the site. That's what the site looks like for people. It's still got a lot of placeholder text and all of that. And this is the newest theme from WordPress and I actually kind of don't like it. The text is too big and I don't really like the design. Well, good news, that's coming with this in-class assignment that we're about to talk about. I'll, I'll put the bullet points up in a moment. But this basic WordPress site that came up here, well, everyone has something like it. For the in-class assignment, what you're going to do is change various things about it on your own. In the network folder, I just put in there some, uh, some items. In the network folder, CIS256, we have today's date in-class assignment. If you look at those bullet points, here's what you need to do by the end of the day before you leave. This is five points. You're going to need to show me your WordPress site. Uh, I'm going to be looking for a new theme. This one of 2019 is actually really boring. I don't really like it too much. You probably don't like it either. So you can go install whatever other theme you like from all of the thousands available. Pick one that you like. You're going to also need to change the name of the site. Right now the site is called Instant WP, your local WordPress installation. Change it to whatever you want. Maybe you can start changing it to like a real site or, or change it to something else. But what I will say again regarding like the previous grades of the assignments, when I say something like change it, I'm not just saying change it and put some other gibberish. Change it so that it's something that might look like a real website if it was going to be on the real internet. Even though it's not going to be on the real internet, let's say I have a website where I'm all about reviewing video games. Uh, so I would want to put the name of my website, Victor's Reviews, and then some sort of slogan, the, the last word in gaming, you know, something. Change it to something real, not just placeholder text. That's going to be the, the tagline. You're going to need to change the tagline, the name of the site. And at the moment, there's, one, there's a few posts here, this gibberish post plus Hello World. Well, you need to add one new post of anything that you want and be as complex as you want. You can put an image or not, but there's got to be some content. And again, not gibberish content. I'm looking for things that are a little bit more real. So this is what you'll need to do. You'll have the rest of the day to work on it. Before you leave, you need to show me that you've done these items to get up to five points. You have these one, two, three, four, five things to do. At any point when you feel that you're done with it, come and uh, tell me and I'll go look at it, I'll mark you off, give you your points, and you're done for the moment. So no, in no homework to do, it's just what you need to do today. Once you show me that, then you have lab time in case you want to work on other things. And if not, you know, it's college, you can do what you want. And so when we come back next time, uh, we will have some more things to do and then a, a deeper homework and such. But that's what's due for today. At any time that you finish it, call me over and I'll mark you off.